Now, before I move ahead, the first thing that I'll like to do is to to tell you the unit of the of the magnetic flux. We still have not done that. We know that Faraday's law. Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction tells us that that the induced EMF E is minus n d phi upon dt. Fine. That phi, this phi is actually a magnetic flux. So I show it as phi b. Why? Because we also have electric flux. Okay. Now, now this flux phi. what is its unit its unit is is what is it basically it is b into a okay dimensionally it is what it is b dot a so b into a into cos theta cos theta is what phi is b dot a is it not b a cos theta what is the unit of cos theta nothing why why nothing because ratio. it is ratio, trigonometric ratio of of two same things, right? The sides of a triangle. So you could say that it is Tesla meter square. Okay. So so unit of this is Tesla meter square, but but this is not something that we actually use we use a unit that is called Weber and is denoted as WB Weber okay it is Weber fine it is Weber now then there is a trouble what is the trouble then what should be the unit of this then what i am calling tesla if 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 this whole thing is becoming weber and this is meter square then this has to become weber per meter square is it not tesla has to become that otherwise how will it how will the multiplication of tesla with with area give me that and it is so much accepted here that instead of calling this as tesla meter square the unit to be tesla meter square technically you are right if you write tesla meter square no one can can mark it incorrect they have to mark it correct but that is not what we use and there is another wonder another googly that gets 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 into the whole process it is that not only we use the unit weber for flux we also change the unit of B from Tesla to Weber per meter square. So, so magnetic field, so, so you understand, this is the unit of flux, magnetic flux, unit of magnetic flux, unit of magnetic flux is both we understand but we use this not only we use this we use this unit to change the unit of the magnetic field itself and we start calling it Weber per meter square unit of magnetic field we call 
वेबर पर मीटर स्क्वायर टू गिव इट अ सिंगल नेम टू एकोमोडेट वेबर वेबर हिमसेल्फ वॉज अ साइंटिस्ट ओके सो विलियम वेबर सो so this is an alternate it's not that tesla is eliminated all all together hmm? you go you go to a to uh, to an mri machine you will find three tesla machine 1.5 tesla machine okay but many a times you will come across the unit of magnetic field as weber per meter square and don't get confused it is nothing but tesla it is nothing but tesla so one tesla is equal to one weber per meter square understand fine now after we have understood this let us let us try to focus our attention on on this hmm on on the on the equation of electromagnetic induction The equation of electromagnetic induction says that it is equal to minus n d phi upon d t by saying that it is phi. It is obviously magnetic field, and which is nothing but d d t of b dot a, which is nothing but b a cos theta. now you see what happens i have got a huge number of possibilities hmm huge number of possibilities for this you change n hmm everything remaining constant you just change the number of turns there will be induced emf okay fine you you change b you will have induced emf keeping everything else the same you change a keeping everything else the same hmm you change a there will be induced emf you change theta there will be induced emf correct so emf can be induced in many ways number 1 see i i am i'm not taking this into account right now right n. that that you suddenly change n hmm if, but but if you change it what will happen suddenly the flux will change you understand so suppose there is there is a there is a field in this direction and you have 10 turns and suddenly you make it 20 then what will happen this whole coil will have more for flux linked with that with itself so that actually comes into this the flux changes and it is very difficult to suddenly start making more number of turns on something okay so it has no practical use apart from your own understanding fine but others have use and we have we have specific equipments available so now if i change b hmm changing b oh, when i say changing b i mean to say i keep the a and theta the same i i i change b keeping however there is no compulsion that i have to keep the a and theta the same you can simultaneously do all the three but doing that actually becomes a bit difficult fine but still you can you can achieve it so what i am saying changing b keeping a and theta constant we'll soon see that this is what is done in a transformer this is what a transformer does what happens in a transformer you have 
you have the you have the core like that and you have wires wound over it okay like that the wires are wound obviously this core continues it becomes a circle and it is like that what happens you apply an ac here alternating current that alternating current due to changing current it actually keeps on changing the b a area of cross section remains the same this is the area of cross section theta remains the same they make though though theta also kind of changes from 0 to 180 degree but fine this is what is transformer fine second you change a changing area this is what we'll study under the heading of motional emf third you change theta what do we get generator this is what what tesla did and we'll study all the three of them fine hmm and after you have studied that at least these two are responsible for all the power that this modern modern world is seeing around all the power the generator trans, trans transformer system together is responsible for all the power generation and transmission all through the world okay so such great things coming out of out of this okay and now you'll understand the foolishness of the question what is the use of it right you see the use <laughs>